Daddy, are you still here? What? Yeah. Oh, I'm just going through to the kitchen, love. I hope you're decent. Yeah, of course I'm decent. Why, why would that matter to you? <laughs> I've got an overactive imagination. In, in. Oh. Hey, you all right? Come here. Come here, you left off. You, uh, had some breakfast? I, mean, I, could, I could do as a fry up. No, thank you. No, me neither. Headache tablets would be fantastic. Oh, shame. I had the last two for myself. <laughs> Shift up. Move you. Shift up. Oh, it's a funny thing, age, isn't it? Up! Not that I think we're old. We're not old. No, I know. I'm saying we're not. Well, what you saying? Well, we need to get our groove saying? back. I think mine's healed over. Rubbish! Oh! I'll tell you what. Right, I want to take the day off. We can have a quick woof woof air of the dog and then nip into town, get some lunch. Oh, aye. Right. Playing the oldest swinger in town. That's really going to make Paddy feel better. No, you don't. He needs to get back out there again. Otherwise, he's going to be all up in Smithy, moping around, feeling mm. sorry for himself. Excuse me. Mm? If you're going to talk about me like I'm not there, can you at least wait till I'm not there? Oh, sorry, I just went... Oh, who's this now? Find out the way. Morning. By process of elimination, I'm hoping that Paddy's here. You've done it again, Miss Marple! Yeah, your first patient's in ten minutes. Can you tell them I'm running late? Yeah, well, I would if I could get back into the surgery. Thank you. Mm. It's none of my business. You're absolutely uh, right, Pearl. It's not. Off you go. You have a lovely day. Uh, uh, just... I want you to have a really lovely oh. day. Daisy! Get back here, you little... Oh. Not work. No. I'm glad you did. I've got to go. If I can. Bye. Customer? MOT inquiry. Really? Are you here to talk or work? Neither. I'm going to that car auction all day. What car auction? I mentioned it the other night. Maybe you were on the phone. Ryan, I need a favour. Let me guess. You want me to hold the fort for a few hours while you disappear, and if your dad asks, you were here all day, right? If you don't want to do it... No, no, I didn't say that. I just... I hope this guy's worth all the hassle, that's all. Just ask for help. <laughs> Here, flour. Oh, yeah, but what I was actually after was sugar. <laughs> I'll be with you in a sec. Oh, I just want some mints. I'll leave the money on the counter. Oh, you'll be needing those for the snogging. Pod. Well, now you've got a new man friend. So what's he like? How do you mean? Kane. What's he like in the older uh, bedroom department? <clears throat> Come on, you took him home. You were seen. Oh, good. Oh, he was good. Oh. Uh, would you mind stop harassing the other customers? <laughs> I'm going to take that as a no comment. I'll draw my own conclusions. I'm sure you will. <laughs> hey, listen, love, I'm with you on this. Men, hugely overrated. Well, we agree on something then. Oh, so it was a bit of a disappointment then. I'll leave that to your imagination, since it's been so busy with everything else. What, do you have to watch me eat? Yes, I'm on a look, but don't touch diet. Mm. Right, OK. Right, I need to get to work. Well, you don't have that tenner I lent you, oh, do you? No, I'm sorry. Can I give it you later? No, no, it's fine. You've got a massive hole in your blouse. Yes, Katie, I know. Thank you. No, why do you get yourself a new one, then? I would like three new blouses, but I'm economising. Right, oh, OK. We'll have some tea in the pot for you. Sorry, short-staffed, which is a technical term for Brenda needs a louder alarm clock. And next time, will you give me a fighting chance by using the right exit and entrance? Uh, sure. Can I have a tea, please? Coming right up. So, what's all this about you and Kane? Well, you see, the thing is... Oh, God, I'm going to be late for work. Better make that a tea to go. OK. Or anything? No. That's why it should clear that up. If you don't, just bring her back. Oh, please tell me that's the last of the appointment. It's your last this morning. Good. Any parents eat them all? Or are the parents eating them all? 
Are there any in your cabinet? No. I'm not sure whether ketamine can cure it. Got it. Right, Paul. What do you want? Nothing. Good. You look awful. Do I? Right, well, if you'd like to know, I was up all last night celebrating, so I shall see you around. I thought I'd better come and walk, Clyde. Well, I'll go and get him then. I'll go and get us some coffee, shall I? And I'll pick up something for your headache while I'm out. Thanks. Whoa, is that the new receptionist? Yeah. It is, actually. New and improved. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> nothing, nothing. At least you know there's going to be no uh, office romance this time. <laughs> I'll go and get Clyde. You're mad coming in after what my dad told you yesterday. Mad or just crazy for you? Mad. Hey, you lured me here, remember? Your dad sent me packing and went back to finish what you started. Yeah, well, you'll wish that I never started anything if he finds you here. Well, I won't tell him if you don't. Besides, it's none of his business. It's not like I'm planning to steal his daughter away. I'm just having a bit of fun. Mm. Yeah, right. So how can anyone object? Right. Well, that's me up on my correspondence and accounts. Oh, isn't life wonderfully uncomplicated without the men around? You know? <laughs> You're going to tell Mark that when he gets back? Wouldn't hurt him to hear it. Mind you, there's a very fine line between uncomplicated and boring. Oh, still sounds good to me. Right, it's lunchtime and I'm buying. Come on. <laughs> hey, this is a once-in-a-lifetime <laughs> offer. Don't pass on this one, Katie. No, thanks, but I'm quite busy. Don't tell me you're still in a strop over Ryan. No, I am not. Yes, you are, I can tell. Is he? All right. Maybe I am a little bit, yeah. But that is only because he's turned out like every other guy I've ever met. Well, if they're all like that, then why pick on him? At least he's cute, isn't he, Mum? Well, I haven't really thought about it. Yeah, that might be enough for you, Maisie, but I kind of needed him to be different, OK? None of them are. The only difference is the packaging, and Ryan's definitely well-packaged. Mm. Darling, I don't think Katie needs your advice on her personal life, OK? Well, please, we just go to lunch. No, <sighs> come with. Come on, we'll go for lunch and then we'll hit the shops. Bit of retail therapy and you'll be bright as rain. Look! This may come as a shock to you, Maisie, but there are some things in life that can't be solved by shopping or man candy, all right? Maisie! Lunch! It's not true, is it, Mum? About shopping. Maisie. Hey, we're back. 